Today on Tot Shops, I'm touring several farms exploring their innovative and at times unique approaches to heating, cooling, and ventilation. I start out with Ken Morowski, who farms with his brothers, sons, and nephews at the Morowski Farms near Port Austin, Michigan. The Morowskis don't spend a dime on heating oil or propane for their 80 by 100 foot shop. Instead, they recycle waste oil and wood to stay toasty in the winter. Ken explains to me how they rig their heating system to use both sources of fuel. So now your heating system is kind of a little bit unique. You're using a combination of, of uh, fuel then. Yes, uh, we, we burn uh, waste oil and that's mainly just that it'll run at night and weekends. And during the day we burn firewood in here. And so where did you find the wood stove? We got the wood stove from uh, a, a cottage up on the, that the people were remodeling and they wanted to get rid of it. And we were able to pick it up just for the, to get it out of their way. The other unique thing that I've never seen in a shop before is the way you distribute the heat. Certainly you've got a vent on the side of the stove blowing out, but how do you get the other warm heat across the, the shop? We have a, a 16 inch pipe that goes off the furnace. It goes under the cement. And that was a drainage tile. Yes, yeah. a, it was a, a regular drain tile. Goes down and then we have a, I guess you call it like a manifold under. Yeah, branch the, lines going off. Yes, and then every little ways, we put a four inch tile that goes across the floor and it, it just it, down in the, right on the sand. Oh, no kidding, right, right below the concrete. Yes, right below the concrete and it comes across and then it comes, it'll be able to blow out on the, this other end here under the bench. But when I was talking to your brother, he even said that it seemed to warm the concrete. Yes, it's, it keeps the, it'll keep the, the floor quite a bit warmer, just right where the pipes go on. You have your own version of in-floor heat without all the expense. Yes. <laughs> where did you get that idea? We looked around at other shops and when one of our, one of our friends did that in his and we decided to, we liked that idea and we went with that. And Imagine spending just pennies a day to heat an 8,000 square foot shop. Our next top shop employs another renewable source of heat to warm their shop. Paul and Craig Heinemann of Ogden, Iowa invested in a geothermal system to capture free heat from the ground. Plus the Heinemann's innovative one of the most unique ventilation systems I've ever seen in a shop. Paul Heinemann explains how their system works. Uh, you heat the shop with uh, in-floor heat. Correct. But you also uh, invested in geothermal as well? Correct, yeah, we have a ground source heat pump and it, it, we did laterals out into the field and buried those. So it uh, makes it more economical to heat a place this size. So a structure like this, as large as it is, what does it cost you to heat it in the winter per month? I, I think it was about $2,000 for the whole year. Oh my gosh, for this entire building? For the entire building. and and. To put it in perspective, we had a, we've got a backup of a um, electric boiler, so in case the heat pump would go out, which it did one time, yeah. and we had that much in one month on uh. the electric side. <laughs> so it, so it's, it is economical to run. Was the incentive to put geothermal in uh, thanks to uh, incentives being offered by the power company? That helps a lot, yeah. that helps a lot. That, that helps in your decision, that kind of tips you that way. Right. Uh, otherwise, you know, it'd be more for gas or something like that. So the trolley's the, the next thing to be added, but you have another addition that's very unique, and that's your ventilation, ventilation system, which is almost like the spaghetti work of tubes <laughs> coming off the ceiling. You gotta explain this to me. Well, it's a, it's a system to allow the, uh, the dirty air to go out over tubes to recapture some of the heat in the winter. And uh, you can't just have an exhaust fan, you need an inlet also, otherwise the, you just pressurize the building or vacuum the building and it won't... won't uh, There's no exchange of air then, Correct. is there? And so that's what this does. It's got some small tubes that come in and they'll come down to about the floor level, four foot above the floor level. Off the ceiling, Off coming the ceiling, down the walls. Coming down the walls. 
and that lets the clean air in. There's a fan blowing that air in, mm -hmm. and then there's a fan that sucks the dirty air out over those tubes up in the ceiling. Our next top shop takes a unique approach to in-floor heat. Jim Rodman and Matt King of We Feed You Farms zone heat their Radnor, Ohio shop using individual wall-mounted boilers. Matt explains that this approach allows them to adjust the heat in separate areas of their shop to fit demand. Now, every shop, farm shop I've ever been in has a central tank heater for in-floor heat. Mm -hmm. You actually have three on-demand, which is on-demand uh, boilers that service three sections of this shop. This is an A.O. Smith type of product? Yes, it is. Um, we did this for, for a couple of reasons. One is with the on-demand heaters, uh, you know, they only run when they need to right. and, and different parts. And the other reason we put it into zones, we actually put the, the facility into three zones, three different heating systems. The front of the place, we always keep in the winter um, a warmer temperature because we have offices, offices and living room space and plus the tool rooms up in the front. So we'll keep that up, you know, at a, a 10 degree higher temp. Then in the back facility, we can actually control them into independently or we can control them separately. And so what we could actually do is only heat part of the shop to a right. certain temperature. It just gives us some flexibility. And they sit, those on-demand boilers, because they're much smaller, they sit right in the zone that they're heating Then They're right on the wall back here then. And then they just take care of that area. Everything's out in the open. You didn't have to put them in a closet or anything like that. No, everything's right out in the open. The, the, the heaters themselves sit on the walls, so if you need to do any maintenance or anything, wow. it's right there. You can just walk up, you can punch them or set the settings or change the thermostat, they're all right there. What kind of savings did you think you got from going with the in-floor heat in that system? Well, it's hard to tell the overall cost at times because of the propane, but, but what I can tell you is there's 11,000 square feet, give or take, in right. this facility. And uh, we can generally, like last year, I, we ran on 1,500 gallons of gas all, all winter long. Whoa. And, and now that's keeping it around 60 degrees right. inside. By zone heating their shop, We Feed You Farms not only saves on fuel, but also create comfort zones for working. And more farmers are seeking ways to make their shops more comfortable because they're spending more and more time working on their machinery in the summer. I'll see you again next time on another Top Shop Tour. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.